Today we're building a mini ITX monster as fast as I possibly can without instructions. Is this case, the Slager console, does not actually have instructions, but it looks really sleek. Nice brushed aluminum finish, not much bigger than an Xbox One X. Not very heavy either. And it comes with some Noxua fans. And also a riser cable for the graphics card. This is our motherboard, an Asus Deluxe Z77 board, link in the description. It's got Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and full support for Windows XP and Windows 8.1. But we'll use 10 because 8 was garbage. And then for our power supply, we are using the Corsair SF750, an 80 plus platinum SFX power supply that is a literal powerhouse. Look how tiny it is. Now we've got all of our fans laid out and we have to put our 2014 flagship monster in, the Titan Z. Titan Z. A three slot behemoth that is a dual GPU. Essentially two Titan Blacks on one card. And for our storage, we've got a one terabyte Samsung Cubo that we're gonna use for Windows 10. And a 128 gig Samsung 840 Evo that's already in there for Windows XP. This case is better for M2 SSDs, but our budget was below $1,000 for this system. And getting a pile of M2s would cost too much. So now our system is ready for the thick boy. Thick boy. That's a thick boy. Thick. Well, our cable management is decent enough. Uh, looks like it didn't take too long to get this done, uh, even without a manual actually existing. Hour and 16 minutes. Look at those aesthetics.
just screwing our antennas again. It's not much wider than a can of bubbly. Very compact. Anyway, now we are loading the Titan Z drivers in Windows XP before we benchmark this beast. But, before we do that, I forgot to repaste the GPU. You can see this GPU has a lot of thermal pads. And the paste behind this is kind of fading away. Not a good sign. Anyhow, after some cleaning and repasting, we should be in good shape. Fans aren't very loud even on load. So here's how it runs. All tests here have been done in 4K with high settings, other than Flight Simulator 2020 and Modern Warfare. As you can see, there is some stutter here and there, but overall, it's pretty smooth. This is mostly due to SLI not being officially supported by some of these. Final Fantasy 15 here seems to get stuck around 30 FPS in 4K. It really pushes this card to its limit. Valorant runs fantastic. Skyrim Remastered runs 
flawlessly. Unreal in 4K does not even make the system sweat. Ray Traced Minecraft is not even remotely challenging for this graphics card when in SLI mode. Quake 3 runs fantastic. Res Infinite at 4K is no struggle either. Dark Souls on XP runs flawlessly, too. No Man's Sky tanks are frame rates sometimes at 4K, but overall still runs smooth. Outrun 2006 maxed out has better graphical clarity than you would have expected. Crisis still chokes the system at 4K height, but is fluid enough. The XP boot times are very quick, faster than any of my other systems. So now it's time to load oblivion. Let me see your face. You are the one from my dreams. Then the stars were right. And this is the day. Gods give me strength. It's incredible. Don't try anything. I'm watching. Midtown Madness 2 looks blockier than I remember but runs perfectly in XP, even with these high resolutions. Unreal Tournament has gorgeous lighting. Flight Simulator 2020 running at 1080p high is fairly stable in frame rate, but clearly is putting our GPU to good use. The custom SLI profile for this crashes the game sometimes. Overwatch runs at extremely high FPS at 4K. When unlocked, it seems to hover 
around 120. Fall Guys seems to stay at 4K60, max its settings most of the time. Cod Modern Warfare can't seem to stay at 60 at 4K, so at 1440p high, it seems to stay solid. Initial D Arcade Stage 5 and 8 running in 4K seem to stay at their locked 60 FPS, no problems. As you can see, the Titan Z aged better than expected, but it does get very hot, pull a lot of watts. And to get good results, you have to make custom SLI profiles, which can be frustrating. But it has the raw CUDA power for rendering, so this could just as easily be used as a portable workstation that dual boots XP and 10. Look in my description to see where you can buy the case or anything else I used in this video. And also support Giraffe on Patreon if you like his content, if you'd like to see more content like this, or more music.